Are you thinking about getting a dog? I am Cesar Malat and today I'm going to teach you how to choose the right dog for you and your family. Three things we have to take in consideration. The energy of a dog, your lifestyle, and if you like a certain breed, the culture behind that breed. And any litter, there is three positions within the pack. Back of the pack, middle of the pack, front of the pack. Breeders describe them this way. Run of the litter, pet quality, pick of the litter. And every litter is always the three positions, right? So when police officers are going to pick the right dog for the job, they're always going to pick the front of the pack and every litter is only one front of the pack. Then we move into the middle of the pack. Middle of the pack is the dogs that are, that are born naturally happy-go-lucky. Doesn't matter if it's a German Shepherd, it's a Golden Retriever, or it's a Rottweiler. They're born happy-go-lucky. This guy is what I always describe as the HR of the group. They make sure that everybody gets along. And then we have the back of the pack. These guys are the most sensitive. These guys, if I'm going to pair them with someone, I will pair them with someone with something that they need the help from a dog that is super sensitive. The back of the pack dogs are the kind of dogs because they're so sensitive, if you don't give them the proper direction and protection, they, they have to take that position where it makes them super scared. How can you tell in a litter at early age, even when the dogs have not opened their eyes, have not opened their ears, it's just pure nose, they're brand new puppies, even a week old. You can see by putting the mom on the corner and feeding time, and you can see how the front of the pack is gonna to get to the mom first, the middle of the pack is gonna to get to the mom second, and the back of the pack is gonna get third. That's what they call them, the run of the litter. The, the back of the pack is actually the most sensitive in the pack. They are the one who tell the weather, they are the one who tell who's coming uh, miles away, so their sensitivity, if there's not nurtured and protected in the right way, can actually become the biggest weakness. This is the type of dogs that develop insecurity, fear, fear aggression, a lot of anxiety, and dogs who often only like one person and not the rest of the family. The middle of the pack dogs are the happy-go-lucky dogs, are definitely the best for every single family, brand new family, family with kids. These dogs are always have this playful disposition. But if you don't set rules by its limitations, this is the type of dog to become easily hyper and pull and jump and bark and steal things from the table, right? Nothing aggressive, nothing fearful, but definitely can become very disrespectful behavior and they're constantly in an excited state. Front of the pack, this is the kind of dogs that are, they're very quiet, they're, they're very self-secure, uh, you can tell right away because they don't do a lot of barking, they just do a lot of warning and when they make their move, it's a very strong move. This is the kind of dog that belongs to any kind of agency. This is the kind of dogs that go to uh, dog shows, this is the kind of dogs that compete in obedience, this is the kind of dog that become police officers. Okay guys, this is the tricky part because you can easily tell who's the back of the pack, middle of the pack, front of the pack, but in every position within the pack there is three levels of energy low medium high so that means back of the pack dogs can have low medium and high middle of the pack can have low medium and high and front of the pack can have low medium and high so it's very important that when you make this acquisition or you adopt or you purchase your dog is that your your breeder or the person who's helping you get this dog it also tells you what level of energy this dog is why because it depends on what lifestyle this dog can live city or farm now let's make energy easier. Let's talk simply about one breed. Let's talk about Border Collies. Border Collies is considered one of the smartest breed on the planet. Okay, but in every litter of Border Collies, you're gonna have high, medium, low. So not every Border Collie can actually compete. Not every Border Collie can actually be good for a farm. Not every Border Collie was born to be the front of the pack or the smartest dog alike. So it has nothing to do with the breed. It has to do with the energy he's born with and also the human who's able to nurture this ability. All right, let's talk about lifestyle. For people who live in the city, middle of the pack and back of the pack dogs will do absolutely perfect. Front of the pack dogs, if you live in a farm, will do amazing. This is the dog that can be extremely helpful in your ranch and on the mountains. Or if you live in the outdoors, you want a front of the pack. If you are more like the social type, a little bit more energetic person, get a middle of the pack. If you are a person who doesn't want to be around people, but do, you do practice outdoor and you want the protection, get the front of the pack. So to me, when people ask me about what breed do I love the most, I say I love dogs. I don't really care about the breed, I love them all. 
right? But some people are very particular on the breed that they want to choose. So don't forget to do your research about what the breed is all about. What is their, why, why a human created the breed in the first place? Because that means to me a breed is a dog that's born with a degree. So when you choose a border collie, he already knows what to do. Your job is just give him a job on what he already knows what to do. A Labrador, a Rottweiler, a Samoyed, all the people, Baba Sanji, a Pug, they're all our, our cultural backgrounds. Those are degrees that they're born with. You don't have to teach them anything. You just have to give them an environment where they can actually practice what they were bred for. Remember, the breed is a degree. You don't have to teach anything. So in other words, understand energy, understand the psychology of a dog, and then follow in love with the culture of the dog you want to bring to your house. Energy, dog psychology, and dog training. That is the order which you must connect, communicate, and have a relationship with a dog. Remember, it's connection, communication, relationship, no matter what the breed is, no matter what the energy is, it is all about those three pillars, connection to the energy, communication to the dog, and relationship to the breed. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and join me on my mission of better humans, better planet.